What Happened in AD 70 by Edward Stevens, narrated by David Clark. This book introduces a view of biblical prophecy which many have found extremely helpful in their Bible study. It explains the end time riddles which have always bothered students of Bible prophecy. It is a consistent view which makes the book of Revelation much easier to understand. It establishes when the New Testament canon of Scripture was completed, demolishes the liberal attack on the inspiration of the New Testament, and is more conservative on most other issues than traditional views. And there is no compromise of any essential doctrine of the Christian faith. The key to understanding any passage of Scripture has always been a good grasp of the historical setting in which it was originally written. Audience relevance. 2,000 years from now on, our history, culture and politics and language would have changed dramatically. Imagine someone then having to learn the ancient language of American English, to read our US newspaper. If they saw one of our political cartoons with a donkey and an elephant, what would they think? How would they go about understanding it? Not only would they have to study the language, but also the culture, history, politics and economics. The same applies to Bible study. If we are really going to understand what all the donkeys and elephants, beasts, harlots and dragons symbolise in the book of Revelation, we would have to seriously and carefully study the language, history, culture and politics of the first century. Of course, the truths essential for salvation are couched in simple language that everyone can grasp, but there are numerous passages in the Bible which are hard to understand, 2 Peter 3.16, and Bible prophecy is one of those things which must be approached with much more focus on the original historical and cultural context, audience relevance. One of the main purposes of this book is to produce a closer look at the historical framework behind the New Testament. Many have found it helpful to lay aside, at least temporarily, the legion of speculative opinions about the book of Revelation and look at a more historical alternative, which is that the book of Revelation was written to the first century church and had primary relevance to them. It warned of events that were about to happen in their lifetime and prepared them for the tribulation of those events associated with the end of the age. Atheists, skeptics, Jews, Muslims and liberal critics of the Bible use the supposed failure of these end time events to occur in the first century to undermine the integrity of Christ and the inspired New Testament writings. Non-Christian Jews laugh at this supposed non-occurrence and use it as evidence that Jesus is not the Messiah. Their forefathers in the flesh rejected Jesus in his first coming because he did not fulfil the Old Testament prophecies in the materialistic and nationalistic way that they were expecting, even though Jesus told them that his kingdom was not of this world and that it would be within them instead. Yet it seems that many futurists today are expecting that some kind of materialistic, nationalistic kingdom to arrive at a future return of Christ. Though making the same mistake about the second coming that the Jews made about his first coming. Jesus repeatedly said his kingdom is not of this world and that it would not come with observation. It is a spiritual entity and it has arrived. We live in it. Both futurists, Christians and non-Christian Jews need to realise this. Christians are finally beginning to seek alternatives to the fatally flawed futurist interpretation. This book introduces the preterist view. Preterist simply means past in fulfilment. It means that Christ has already fulfilled his promise to return and consummate redemption in himself and his ongoing spiritual kingdom, the church. We should be like the noble-minded Bereans and search the scriptures daily to see 
whether these things are true. You might want to have your Bible open alongside you as you read. Edward E. Stevens, Bradford, April 17, 2018.